One of the most important steps when migrating from Umbraco 7 to Umbraco 8 is the content migration. In Umbraco 8.1, we've introduced a migration tool to help you do this. My name is Sophie, and in this video, I'll take you through the few steps of migrating a database from Umbraco 7 to Umbraco 8. Let's just jump right in. The very first step is to clone down your two Umbraco projects to your local machine. Important to note here, only run the Umbraco 7 project locally. You'll also need to restore all content and media in this one. The Umbraco 8 project just needs to be cloned down. Don't do anything with it just yet. So I've gone ahead and done those steps already. You can find more information on how to clone, run, and restore your Umbraco cloud locally uh, in the description of this video. Now, as you can see, I have my project running here on localhost, and I have all my content and media items here as well. So far, so good. So now I'll go ahead and shut down this project, and we can get on with the migration. So now that you have both clones on your local machine, open both project folders like I've done here. I have the Umbraco 7 site over here to the left, and the Umbraco 8 site to the right. We'll need to take the database file from the Umbraco 7 project and copy it into our Umbraco 8 project. The database file is found in app data and will either be an Umbraco SDF or Umbraco MDF file. Now I will just copy this one and paste it into the app data folder on the Umbraco 8 project. We need to do one more thing before we can spin up the Umbraco 8 project and run the database migration. Find and open the web config file in your favorite code editor. I have my Umbraco 8 project open here in Visual Studio Code. Then I will open the web config file. In here, we'll need to find the Umbraco core configuration status key. It's right here. We need to change the value here to the version of Umbraco that our Umbraco 7 project is running. So in my case, that would be 7.15.0. And I'll save the file. So when we in a minute spin up the Umbraco 8 project, the database from Umbraco 7, we just copied into the project, will be migrated from Umbraco 7.15.0 to Umbraco 8.1.0. So I'll go ahead and spin up the project. Once the site starts up, we'll need to authorize the migration. So simply use your Umbraco Cloud credentials to log in here. There we go. Now, as you can see, when we will click continue, the database will be migrated from Umbraco 7.15.0 to Umbraco 8.1. So we'll just go ahead and do that. So this can take a bit of time, depending on how large the database you're migrating is. And there we go, the installation is complete and will now be redirected to our back office. There we go, and let's just log in here once again using our Umbraco Cloud credentials. So this is our Umbraco 8 project now, and as you can see, we have our content here. And if we go into the settings sections, we will see that our document types and templates is here as well. It's all there. So this was step one. We've now migrated the database from Umbraco 7 to Umbraco 8. At this point, you might notice that all the templates, for example, are empty. And if we try to go to the front end, this also will not work because we have not yet converted our code from Umbraco 7 to Umbraco 8. Not to worry though, there are more steps to come. In step two, I'll walk you through how to migrate the files from your Umbraco 7 project into the Umbraco 8 one. I'll see you there.